everyone. Welcome to the exciting new sound of Radio One. Right. We're here with you till two o'clock, so hang on. Yeah. Oh, definitely a haircut. So it Can happen on Radio One, as we did with the Kilimanjaro climb. Do we have any idea what's going to be on? Do we have anything? How would you say that I could make my show more swaggy? Maybe, Phil, should we tell the audience a bit more about who we are and why we're here? Yeah, there like, are a few tweets saying, who are you? I can imagine. In that voice. So then, amazing Phil, who are you and why are you so amazing? Is this going to be like an X-Men origins story, but not that exciting? Phil origins, <laughs> the boy in one bedroom, and that's that's all that happens. There's a camera and a laptop somewhere. Yeah. Well, it all started when no one was really video blogging, and I saw a girl called Lonely Girl 15. Phil is like the dinosaur of the internet, I, 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 by the way. I, I, was, I was the first one. <laughs> and I... I wanted to get to know this girl. I wanted uh -huh. her to notice me, okay? Did she ever notice you? No, but I did start making my own videos to try and get never. with the swing of it. She never noticed me. She never me. acknowledged your existence. Also fact, it turned out she was an actress and So it she wasn't broke even your real. heart and made you never trust anyone ever no, again. I may as well have just fallen in love with Lara Croft. Oh dear. Well, you know, my name Dan is not on fire, but a lot of people say is that to do with Alexis on fire the band? It's like no, when I was 13 on my MySpace account, I was just a really random person. You know how teenagers are really random. That was me just combining a bunch of words together and you know, it's one of those email addresses that you can't escape from. <laughs> you know how everyone's secretly called Sugar Bunny 96 and yeah. stuff. Like my that. first one was Snow one Dude. So I just was Shame. stuck with the name Dan is Not On Fire. And, and here I am. And then we've been making <laughs> YouTube videos ever since, video blogs, sketches, mm -hmm. stuff like that. And somehow Radio 1 have been like, hey, have we've a show. been on the radio a couple of times, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, we were on Scott Mills' Innuendo Bingo. And also I touched Liam, Pears, Liam Payne's hair at the Teen Awards too. So literally we have been on Radio 1 a couple of times and now here we are live whose decision was that yeah <laughs> but yes we aren't the only ones from the internet are we there no. are others out there some strange creatures out there somewhere doing the same thing that we do <laughs> yes absolutely for example who we, do we have we have a girl called shauna from, from canada. canada known as nanalu mm -hmm. and this is a little feature that we like to call in new video bloggers we trust see what we did do, there do you see what we did there yeah. i like that very much where each week we will contact a youtube star and they have made a music video and we will get them to tell you all about their crazy weird world so here's what happened when we caught up with her oh that's a disgustingly generic sounding link you just made <laughs> go canada in new video bloggers we trust radio one hi so for all of our listeners what is your name and where are you from hi i'm shauna helson i'm from canada and i go by nanaloo on the interwebs what's it like living in canada uh you know it's it's good kind of cold kind of not sometimes have your eyes ever frozen <laughs> Not that I know of. That would be quite horrific if that happened. Explain those blackouts that happened. So is there anything Canadian that we might not have in the UK that you could tell us about? We actually drink our milks out of bags. They're just like these what, what? rectangular bags that are about this tall. My mind is being blown. You, you have bags of milk. Drink bags of milk? Well, I mean, you drink the milk out of a cup, but you- Okay, but you buy them in bags. That's that, crazy. No, that, that is more of an alternate reality than I could have ever dreamed of. Yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed, Canada. One more thing about Canada. Have you ever seen a moose in the wild? In the wild? Yes, I think so. Wow. I, I I'm, heard... I'm so pleased yeah. that you didn't just go, no. no. What? I heard that there are like dinosaur size though is that true are they really big really big it's not like i mean even they're not cute deer, like if they run out in front of your car it's, it's a terrifying like, thing poor deer it's like my poor freaking car <laughs> <laughs> well okay for all the people listening what sort of videos do you make on your youtube channel would you say i do music videos quite mm -hmm. a bit and i do some sketches yeah and yeah that's i sort of just i'm all over the place it's like your know. creativity flow wherever it takes you Life me. <laughs> <laughs> so we're about to play a music video that you have made uh can you tell us about it and the song that you chose oh this music video this video was actually shot um in fall autumn it looked like it's a, an okay time i actually got so sick after we shot oh wow. no so real suffering went into this passion yeah. <laughs> what was it about the song why did you pick this particular song Oh, I just remember hearing this song and loving this song. Yeah, yeah, it's a good like, song. You know, if there's any song you can lip sync to, it's this song. The song is intense. And then when mm -hmm. you see the particular twist of the video, it's sort of all... It just it adds to the intensity. Yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> you listeners will get that. Okay. Did you expect it to get so many views, though? Because it's on like 33 million at the moment, which is, even by pop videos, that's, that's, like, a, that's a lot. That's like more views than I've ever got in six years. <laughs> My entire channel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. I mean... 
no, I did not expect it to go over well, mm -hmm. really, yeah. at all. I remember when I posted this, we were, like, almost peeing because we were laughing. Yeah. <laughs> like, is this one of those times where this shouldn't see the light? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're just like, nah, man, this is the best thing ever. All um, right, well, it's a pretty amazing video, isn't it? it? Is. So everybody hearing this needs to get to the website now to watch Shauna's video. Would you like to introduce it? Hello, fine citizens of Britannia. <laughs> it's Sail by AWOL Nation. Enjoy. time for something very serious. Serious. Every single day there are miracles and strange goings on in this world that for some reason people think are less important than the economy or an oil spill. But yeah. it is our duty to share these stories with you. Also it'll give you something to talk about with colleagues on that awkward Monday morning back at work. <laughs> Absolutely. See this is a service to humanity. Forget Newsbeat, okay? This is Internet News. Internet news. The White House has responded to a petition which said that they want to make a Death Star. People took this very seriously, but apparently the cost of 850 quadrillion dollars was too much, even though people said that it would strengthen defense and create jobs. Well, I'd totally be up for working on a Death Star. Would you? What sort of things would it involve, do you Defending reckon? Defending planets from aliens. I think that there should be a UK Death Star. It would basically just be a giant picture of Brian Cox's face, I think. That would be beautiful. <laughs> Internet news. A woman in Devon has discovered that her cat is not only the last loudest cat in England. It is the loudest cat in the entire world. Ever. How loud does it feel? Its purr is louder than a tube train at 100 decibels. That is actually serious. Here is what that cat sounds like. Imagine that being as loud as a tube train. That'd be terrifying. That's real. Imagine its vibrations are probably loud enough to separate the fabric that holds time and space together. I'm I, guessing I, it's I a think scary so too. cat. Internet news. Okay, a job position has been posted on the internet to be an official European water slide tester. Now that sounds like the best job I ever. I did just say that. An actual job you can get is just to tour Europe going down water slides. It sounds fun, doesn't what? it? Well, yeah. Although, I went to Iron Apple once and I actually broke one of my fingers going down a slide, so we think that this is all fun and games, but it's actually danger that's going to happen. You need you know some. What I mean? You need some, some danger on the job. I'm, I'm thinking of working <laughs> half-time on the Death Star and half-time on this Half-time on the Death Star. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of that. Internet cool. news. And a gorilla at a German zoo has learned to tightrope walk. More coordination than me, then. Yeah. yeah. And apparently all the lady gorillas are getting in on the action because they love his tightroping skills. So that's the key to being an alpha male, is it? Just tightroping. Yeah. All right, then, lads, if you want to pick up next week, then just get yourself on a tightrope. 
Except don't do that because you'll probably break your neck. Yes. <laughs> Internet news. But finally, and this is possibly the most important news, later in this show, Dan and Phil will be performing a challenge live on the radio set to them by the Radio 1 audience. Oof. Yes, if you go on the Radio 1 Facebook page right now, you'll see a poll between two choices. We will either be wrapped in some kind of cling film prison by each other and try and escape, <laughs> or we will be drawing Susan Boyle with our mouths. Mm -hmm, but it is up to you which one we'll do live on the radio later in this show. So get to the Facebook page right now and decide our fate. Unfortunately, we didn't give you an option to create your own challenges, then it would probably involve juggling knives and doing the cinnamon challenge. Yeah, at the same and time. we're brand new in the studio, so we don't want to destroy we don't want it in to get the blood first and cinnamon. Show. Everywhere. No. No, I'm a little bit worried about this cling film thing. What if Are I don't you? escape? I'll just be then on the we, floor we'll screaming up at the microphone. Do the radio with our noses, then I guess. BBC Radio One. Dan and Phil. to reveal the results of the Dan versus Phil Facebook challenge poll. I'm scared. Oh, sorry, that was a, a, a woman screaming. I meant to play this. Uh, well, there's tension in the murdery kind. No, I felt and tension then there's tension in the game show kind. Oh, gosh, a woman screaming. Why is that even a sound you can play? Who would find a reason to use that? Okay, I'm ruining the tension, ruining okay. the tension. So Phil. What have Facebook decided? The results have been tabulated, and what we're about to do live on the Radio 1 website is... Wrap each other in cling film and try and escape. Oh gosh, that oh, is no. obviously slightly more interesting I to hope watch. It doesn't end up like Dexter and I never <laughs> escape. <laughs> never escape. Part of me just wanted to stick a pen in my mouth and do a beautiful Mona Lisa of Susan Boyle. That would have been more relaxing. But it looks like we're about to subject ourselves to a lot of physical discomfort. So make sure you go to bbc.co.uk forward slash radio one for this as we are about to wrap each other in cling film. But for your oral with an AU pleasure, here is Madian and Alt J. <laughs> BBC Radio 1. Oh, God. Dan and Phil.
on BBC Radio 1. Round 2. Exciting. Uh, Hell. You seem to be in a bit of a predicament. I'm still wrapped in cling film. Is it true that one of your limbs has been rendered useless by cling film? You look yes. like you've tried to make a sling for yourself after breaking your arm. I have it's a gone sling. Horribly, it's horribly, like horribly wrong. Did you make this out of spider webs or something? I might try to just make you do the rest of the radio show <laughs> crippled by cling film. Sounds Thanks. fun to me. Thanks. Well, I think it's needless to say, but the winner of the first Dan versus Phil live on Radio <laughs> One is Dan. Of course you announce it. No modesty there. Thank you, thank you. Was that dramatic enough? I feel like it was. It was. <laughs> it was really good. But anyway, whilst Phil gets out of that, can you press the button to start the next song? I can. You can. Okay, this is an absolutely hilarious video done by two guys where they dance awkwardly in public. So if you're up to seeing some Still very escaping. funny, awkward dancing. You okay there, Phil? Yeah, I'm just escaping. Still Background rustling. I'm okay. almost out. I'm almost out. <laughs> Make sure you get to the website now and we'll see if Phil has gotten out by the end of this song. Here we go. Oh, baby, we'll be old. Oh, baby, we'll be old. Think about the stories that we could have told. One day, baby, we'll be old. Oh, baby, we'll be old. Think about the stories that we could have told. I don't think about y'all 
How's your New Year's resolution going? Um, absolutely awful. Practically not. <laughs> what, what was it? Uh, it was to... <laughs> I'm not going to admit to what it was, but let's just say after about a week, it didn't go very well. And the other one was to get fit and I hired a personal trainer, which meant that I didn't actually do it. They did it for <laughs> Have me. Have you so. actually seen the personal trainer yet? Um, once. <laughs> but I've been busy doing this radio show. You know, I don't have time to exercise and all that. See, I actually made one that would benefit my life rather mm-hmm. than make me sad. So I thought I'd go to the cinema more. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Yes. But anyway, if you've had a New Year's resolution disaster, here are me and Phil with our 2013 life coaching plan for new New Year's resolutions. Enjoy. Enjoy. Hello there. Yes, hello and happy new year. Welcome to 2013. Yes, how is that New Year's resolution coming along? (laughs) Oh, we're only joking. Of course, it's been a massive freaking disaster. Yes. But don't worry, okay? Even though you started chocolate binging again on January the 4th, that doesn't mean that the whole of 2013 is going to be a write-off. No, as we're going to help you out with some new New Year's resolutions. Oh, yes, we are. That's right, but these aren't just any suggestions, okay? Oh, no. These have been carefully put together with logic and science. And remember, nothing says I'm a big loser that doesn't deserve to live like not wanting to try new things. So force yourself to do it. Here we go. Number one. One, become a yes man. It's well known that if you say yes to absolutely everything, you will finally start living life in the fast lane and you will be a hundred times more productive. Oh hey, uh, I was about to go planking in traffic. Oh, it's gonna be a lol. You up for coming? Uh, yes. Oh man, that was awesome. Hey, I know. I'm gonna go meat dress snorkeling. What's that? Oh man, the ultimate adrenaline sport. You know shark cage diving? Oh god. Number two, eat chocolate for every meal. No, wait, wait, I know what you're thinking, okay, but mm. this is what I think, right? right? If you eat that much chocolate, either your body is gonna build up an intolerance which will make you allergic to chocolate, or you will just get so emotionally traumatized you'll never want to eat it again. Isn't that the best way to give up chocolate? 
Yeah. I know right, I know right. Number three. Now, you always hear people say, oh, I'm cutting the negativity out of my life. Yeah. But you can't expect people to just make new friends, can you? No, but here's a solution, okay? Just become a negative person yourself. You know what I hate? What? Ugly dog losers. Uh, uh yeah. Yep, yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, so cute. Hey, do you like my baby? No. It might not make you content with life, but it's way less effort. Oh, seriously. And, you know, you can always try to make yourself feel better by belittling others. <laughs> that's always fun. Brilliant. Number four, get a new job. Um, that's not exactly an easy thing to do. Wrong. Just walk into a job centre and select the first job on offer. Couldn't that potentially be a bit risky? You could end up the CEO of a hobnob factory. Just picture all the hobnobs. Yeah, on the flip side, you could become a whale feces researcher. That's a thing? Yeah. Oh. Oh, maybe you'd find Jonah. <laughs> <laughs> or an elephant vasectomist. Number five, and here's my tip of the week. Oh, go on then, Phil. Submit your body to science and genetically fuse your body with that of a whale. What? First of all, you'll be able to reach the top shelf in Asda. J Phil, you'll probably be bigger than the whole shop. <laughs> Secondly, you could reflect hater vibes with your whale sonar. Though the army may shoot you if you roam into a city. Yes, the army would probably attack you with helicopters. <laughs> yes. Well, there we go. That is our procrastinator's guide to a successful New Year's resolution. Have a happy 2013. Good luck. But no. now it is time for something very fun to happen, okay? Yep. There is an audience whose requests we haven't featured yet hmm. in this show. We've had some quite good songs, but yeah. the teen pop audience has been neglected slightly. And whilst not everybody might want to hear Justin Bieber, this is the section of the show that is dedicated to a lot of you out there that do. Yeah, so there's only so many boy bands that we can play before they take over <laughs> the whole show. So how should yes. we settle this, Dan? Well, Phil, we are settling which to play with a fan war. Ooh. Yes, we have two callers on the line. One caller is representing One Direction and one representing Justin Bieber. They are about to perform a live challenge on air against each other and only the winner gets to have their artist song played. Okay. Tension. Is Rosie Attention. there? Let's get Rosie on the line. Hi. Hi, Rosie. So Hi. are you a fan of One Direction or Justin Bieber? Um, one Direction. Okay, and would you do anything for them? Yes. It's more of a question of there is there anything you wouldn't do for One Direction? <laughs> Maybe eat a dog. Probably yeah. not. <laughs> no. Awesome. Um, but well, you know, we don't want to scare you or anything, even though there's this very tense music happening right now. Yes. But the honour of One Direction is resting on your ability to gargle Live While We're Young, because that is it's what's water. about to happen. The way that we are measuring who wins is we are challenging the One Direction caller and the Justin Bieber caller to gargle the chorus to their favourite song by their artist. So are you ready to gargle the chorus to Live While We're Young? Yes. I'm ready. Okay, whenever you're ready. Take it, take it away, it Rosie. Away. <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> Oh, this sounds like there's water going everywhere. That, that was brilliant, Rosie. Thank you. That was accurate. I yeah. love that. I actually heard it. Da, 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 da. Not that I know how the song goes or anything like that. You oh, play it every okay. day. That was very good. Okay, you should be very proud. We'll come back to you in a second, okay? Don't go anywhere. Okay, okay. now we should have a Justin Bieber fan on the line. Hello. Hello. Jack, are you there? Hello. I am here, yeah. I, I was not expecting you to be a male, I'll be honest. <laughs> Are you the biggest Justin Bieber fan ever? Oh, of course, yeah. You are, so. definitely. Cool. It must be a good environment, you know, lots of women around. Anyway, so how are you doing? Are you ready to face the pressure of Justin Bieber's entire legacy resting on your shoulders? Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, well, whatever. We, we would like you to gargle <laughs> to Beauty and the Beat. Can, Can you, do, you that? do this for us? Right. Okay. Yeah, right. Take it away. Okay. Oh, wow. Sounds like, what is happening? Maybe, it sounds like there's oh, some kind of... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Is he drowning? Are you okay, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's good. It's, uh, I'm are you, not sure what's happening. I, I wasn't really getting the Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj, Young Money, Justin from the... I don't know. It was, no, it sounded a little <laughs> bit like a Dalek It was sounded a bit like Justin Bieber if they deleted the audio track and maybe just had <laughs> the drums. Good effort, though, Jack. Good Justin effort. Bieber as he was going down the water slide in the song. Yeah. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. <laughs> I okay, heard that, too. well, um... Right, I think we need to decide on a winner. the One Direction person back on the line? Yeah. Are you both here now? Are you both here? Yeah. 
Okay, yeah. I'm ready to break the news to you now. The winner of the first ever <laughs> fan war on the Dan and Phil show on Radio 1 is One Direction. Congratulations, Rosie. Sorry, Jack. I'm so sorry. Jack's fading away. Bye, Jack. Bye, 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 bye. bye, bye. bye. How bye. do you feel? You have brought glory to One Direction. I feel amazing. Yay. <laughs> Congratulations. Your gargling skills are better than everyone else's. And here is the song that you have earned. Okay, thank you very much. And here is some One Direction. Thank you.